Hey guys, hope you're all well and welcome to this commission completion video. We have an absolute treat for you today. Blackstone Fortress Warhammer Quest painted to a very high standard. This project has recently been completed and has taken some time, but it's been a great project to work on. Seed Studios is a business, if you're unfamiliar with us and it's the first time you're watching our YouTube channel, we are a UK-based premium commission painting service with a team of 28 painters who all paint at as a minimum level from above tabletop all the way through to competition level, which is our platinum level. If you are interested in a commission with us, then very simply, all you need to do is head to the description of this video where the link to our contact form and website can be found. Click on that link, go to the contact form, select the relevant drop down options for your project on that contact form, including the message section, a list of models in our format, and then fire that off to us to get the process started. Let's dive in and have a look at this phenomenal project in all its glory. See you guys back in a second. So let's start by looking at all the awesome characters from this great Blackstone Fortress uh, commission which we finished and there's no better place really to start than with Janice Drake who's the rogue trader of the set. Uh, a great character, we'll just get this for you, to focus for you guys so you can have a look, there we go. Uh, and right away you can see he's got some very interesting details on him, he's got those lovely striped trousers, uh, he's got the um, sort of small scabbard sort of knife at his uh, waist, uh, he's got this great dueling uh, sabre here as you can see and there's also like a grenade kind of thing that's uh, attached to his uh, hip as well. Uh, obviously smoking away on some form of uh, tobacco or cigar as well or a pipe or something and then we've also got uh, a lovely moustache and also that glowing green bionic eye as well um got this great sort of hide as well that he's got wrapped around his uh, his shoulders over the top of his coat as well uh, that's obviously been lovely highlighted there up through the various colors from like a tan at the bottom all the way to a dark brown at the top Obviously got the, the bone porcelain kind of uh, grip there on his pistol as well and uh, lovely, lovely saturation of colours on that uh, on that cloth there on the back of his cape as well. Uh, really, really awesome, awesome model. So that is just Janus Drake. Great character, great model. Uh, next up, let's have a look at UR25 or UR025, uh, the uh, Imperial robot, we should say in loose terms, but obviously Man of Iron, as everyone knows. Uh, really, really cool model here with the orange sort of accent colours on that lovely sort of teal sort of uh, colour as well, which is really nice. Uh, again, you've got that lovely Chevron power cable there. Um, lots of sort of chipping and bits and bobs on the armour as well. If we just get that to focus a bit more clearly for you guys, so you can see the lovely uh, sort of dirtiness to the sort of armour that he's got there, uh, which is really, really nice. Uh, so that's just URO25. Uh, and then next up, how about we have a look at Esprin Locarno, who is the Imperial Navigator. Again, a really cool model here, as you can see, with all these intricate little filigree parts of detail on his sort of like, uh, sort of, I don't know, shoulder guard armour and also chest armour there. You've got all that script there just painted on the uh, on the sort of tabard between his legs. A lovely sort of colourway with this purple and blue, which is really nice on the inside of his cape. Um, just excellent little details and bits and bobs on here with all little buttons and things all sort of highlighted as well all these little lenses and things all done as well which is really cool a very interesting figure and a great company model to the uh, the team and also to the Blackstone Fortress box uh, we'll have a look at Amelin Shadow Guide next who is the elder uh, she's the Azurian Ranger so really really cool model Ben loved working on this one specifically on all the little vine thorn on the back of her as well let's just get that to focus so you can see that in a bit better detail and a lovely complimentary sort of pink ruby kind of dark reds uh, blended sort of uh, weapon there as well which is really nice and she's got obviously a long rifle as well as you can see but all the lenses and everything fully picked out fully highlighted the lovely crystal thing hanging from her waist as well nice and highlighted as well um, so that's just Amelin really really cool model uh, we'll have a look now at Tadius the Purifier, who is the minister and priest of this commission uh, and force. Lovely bit of freehand there on the book, just obviously that imperial sigil there, or inquisitional sigil there, you can see there. And then moving around, obviously, all these little areas of details. little satchel with a little bit of weathering on the leather as well. Uh, his little servo gun friend here with all the lenses and everything done as well. Uh, he's got obviously a power mace there, um, and obviously a metallic, uh, metallic finish to that. But he's also got bionic hands, as you can see. Uh, which is really nice. And you've got those purity seals just dangling at the back with some faint text on them as well, which is really lovely. So that is just Thaddeus. So put him back. And then let's have a look at Rain and Rouse, the two uh, sort of uh, great sort of rattling twins. Have a look at one of them first of all. I don't remember which one's which, so you have to bear with me, but I believe that this is Rain. Uh, so just moving around, you can see the goggles and everything fully highlighted with point and light source, a lovely blend on those lenses, all the edges and everything done. He's got his own fridge, so 11s is definitely on the cards. Uh, you've got the pouches and everything there, as you can see. You've got a little pistol there, just then you've got his bipod. Uh, everything really, really picked out, lovingly with attention to detail. So that's just rain. 
or Paul Ford Rouse now, so you can have a look at him uh, with his uh, really cool sort of uh, harpoon gun there, as you can see, looking into his uh, thing. And if you look, all the highlighting work is done there on that screen with little blips and things as well, just to show all those details. You've got obviously little aspects of detail on his backpack. The leather's got some lovely sort of uh, roughness to it as well, showing a bit of wear. Uh, looks like he's got a couple of sticks of dynamite behind him there just to get up to some uh, some dirty tricks. And uh, obviously got that pouch as well next to him with all that highlighted. Lovely attention to detail and flesh work as well on this guy, uh, just so you can see him. But overall, really, really cool model, really great finish. Uh, two models left to have a look in this awesome, awesome group of characters. And we look at Dakar, the Greyth, the um, the crew tracker. I hope I pronounced that okay, but probably not. Uh, so that's just him there. As you can see, all the little extra details and things fully picked out. You've got a little bit of weather in there on the gun just to show it's a bit old. Uh, a lovely sort of complementary kind of colour to the, uh, the skin tone of him. And also his lovely brown sort of cloth work with his blue accent as well. Uh, nice shoulder guard there with a bit of uh, little detritus and build up on that gold. He's got a little bionic eye as well, just as you can see. Um, and then we've got a little sort of band thing around his uh, arm. It's got all little gems on it that's all been picked out. Extra little details, all these different sort of sights and, and scopes and bits and bobs and additions to the gun were all there as well. Uh, but really, really, really cool model. So that is just him. And I'm going to try and pronounce it. It's Dakar, da Dalyak Gray. I can't pronounce it, but forgive me for in the comments. <laughs> so that's a crew tracker. And then last up, let's have a look at Bias Vaughan, who's the missionary zealot, an awesome model that I absolutely love. Uh, with Vindicta written there on her sort of chainsword flamethrower kind of thing, uh, which is really cool. Uh, great model, very, very stern looking, bounding forward, about to make someone's day very bad. Um, move around the back and see all the pipe work there to have sort of like the fuel tanks. We've got the book there with some rough details and texture added to it, same as on the leather sort of cloth part as well. Um, great sort of contrast added to it. You've got that lovely sort of pipe work with all the chevrons done on it as well. Uh, every aspect of detail fully highlighted, fully picked out, even all the text there on the on the tabard between the legs. So there as you can see, uh, Vindicta, as I mentioned, written across there. And the armour as well, nice and subtly highlighted, so it doesn't make her not look black in the armour. Um, you've got a great sort of face mask there with a couple of wires and pipes and things that have all been highlighted and picked out as well. Overall, a lovely, lovely, lovely model. So that is all the characters from this set. Next up, we're going to have a look at all the other models that come in the set. So we've got all the infantry, some of the chaos side as well. Uh, so we'll definitely have a look at those. They are coming up very, very soon. Stick around, we're back in a second. So next up, we have all the evil dudes from this awesome Blackstone Fortress game. And there's no better place to really start with this mass of models than Obsidious Malex, who's the Chaos Lord, leading the darker portion of this force. Uh, really cool model. It's now been released, obviously, as an independent Chaos Lord for 40k, but really, really cool model. So you see, Ben's done a stir job of making him look very, very aged. Um, he's obviously been stuck in the Blackstone Fortress for quite some time. He's got that orange glow on his hammer, obviously orange glow on the plasma pistol as well, which is really nice. Um, all the flesh work has been done as well. If I just get this to focus so you can have a look at his facial details, his teeth, eyes, and everything fully picked out. And moving around, you've got that lovely kind of wolf-esque kind of like uh, cloth work as well that he's got there, or just draped over his shoulder. Moving around, it obviously flows down the back as well. And uh, all the armor has got this very, very cool kind of pitted and aged kind of look to it. Uh, with little marks and things, which is really nice. So that's just Obsidious Malix, who's the Chaos Lord. Um, next up, we'll have a look at some of the Rogue Psychers, which come with it as well, and all the flesh work, as you can see here. It's got this lovely, subtle red and purple hues to it. We've done it loads of time. It's been spent to get that sort of lovely transition of uh, colour on the skin. Every detail fully picked out and highlighted there. As you can see, he's obviously held down by some rather large weights in case he might float off. And um, <laughs> so that's just one of the Rogue Psychers. We also have uh, another one uh, in a similar sort of pose, but again, there you can see all the facial details, fully picked out teeth, eyes and everything. He's got this bulging kind of brain kind of thing as well, which is really cool. Uh, so that's just him. And I love the, the uh, kind of tentacle thing that's just wrapping around uh, the, the, the staff as well. It's really, really cool. So that's just him. And then we have the two Black Legion Marines that flank Obsidian Malix. Uh, a really, really cool model. As you can see, great pose. You can see where the idea came for the new Cow Space Marine kit um, on these as well, which is really nice. I love the red robes as well. I think they're cool. Uh, and they're saying Ben's done a stellar job in the armor just to make it look very pitted and aged, but not take away from the black. So the highlighting is not too stark. 
which is nice. This guy's obviously got a bare head, and then the other the Black Legion Marine is obviously helmeted. Uh, but again, a really, really, really cool finish to these models, an awesome, awesome uh, overall finish on them. And uh, you've got that lovely Blackstone Fortress basing across this force. I should have mentioned it earlier in the video, but um, a lot of time has been spent to get this super, super sharp and pristine on all these models. So that's just one of the Black Legion Marines. Uh, next up, let's have a look at some of the Traitor Guardsmen. Really cool models, and uh, I know a lot of people really like these. You've got one here just firing his uh, ancient looking rifle there. A lot of kind of like fur on these models as well, which is quite interesting. Uh, uh, so that's just uh, another one of the of the sort of traitor guardsmen. We'll pull forward the sergeant so you can have a look at him. He's really cool with these green lenses. Uh, as you can see, they're just sort of striding forward there, looking for a new target or something. Really cool, the grenades and everything all fully picked out and highlighted. All the cloth and metal work done there in a lovely finish. That's just him. Uh, there's a flamer, in, in, a couple of flamers in the unit as well. So just have a look at one of these with these green goggles there, as you can see, which is really nice. Nice wood grain effect on the, uh, on the gun as well, which is lovely. And then move him around so you can just see obviously all the extra little details and things that are fully picked out which is really cool uh we'll have a look at the dude throwing a grenade because it's always good to have a look at him he uh, really doesn't care goggles all painted there as you can see all the grenades and everything he's got loads and loads of explosives on him uh even more around the back <laughs> so that's just him uh and that's the trader guardsman from the uh from the force we'll then have a look at some of the herbals which are really cool models uh, i'll just get that to focus so you can see all of the little extra details that are on him uh, he's got these little freckle things on the back as well there and a lovely subtle transition from the teal to the purple on the hands a little bit on the face as well again really interesting models really cool to paint as well so that's just one of those uh, and then we'll look at a spindle drain again done in a very similar sort of non-metallic metal kind of style as well so you've got this lovely lovely transition of light to the top half following the volume and then all the glowing points are in this lovely complementary purple to this bluish kind of greyish kind of color for the non-metallic metal on these uh, but really really cool and all the edging done on those points there as you can see so fully highlighted throughout um, next up we'll have a look at some of the beastmen the chaos beastmen really cool i'm super glad that these have come out it adds a lot of interest to other sort of factions for 40k as well you can see the lovely effects there on the skin as well and all the, the individual little details are all, all sort of painted as well the chain mail the little uh, braids and things as well which is really cool the horns i love how the metal just looks like that's a sheet of metal that he's just picked up and stuck a handle on as well which is quite cool uh, they've all got obviously las pistols there as you can see that's just one of the uh, one of the cast beastmen um, and then we'll have a look at one of these nagavolt cultists a really cool model i love the way that ben's put like a purple kind of reddish kind of tinge around the uh, sockets and things just to really show that they're kind of like a bit uh, a bit sore or painful and then we've got this glowing coil on his back as well He's uh, looking like he's striding forward to give someone a very bad day, but all the details and everything's fully highlighted in a lovely fashion. So that's just one of him. Uh, so that is all of the nasty guys from Blackstone Fortress. I do hope you've liked them ever so much. Uh, they are really, really cool. And uh, we're going to be back in a second to have a look at it all again in its glory. See you guys back in a sec. Thank you for watching the video guys. I do hope you've really liked this awesome project in all its glory. The, all, the, the models are so, so good with all the details and everything. They are a real exquisite collection of models. And if you haven't picked up Blackstone Fortress, then I really recommend that you try and get your hands on it. So if you are interested in a commission with us here at Siege, then very simply, all you need to do is head to the description of this video where the link to our contact form can be found. On that contact form, all you need to do is select the relevant drop down options for you and your project from the ones that are on there. And then also include in the message section a list of models in our format, which can be sort of found on there, explains obviously the format we need the list of models in, plus extra details like freehand magnetizing and converting and sculpting and things like that. Please go into detail with what you're wanting uh, with those aspects if you are wanting that. Fire that off to us to get the process started. As always, if you are a frequent here on YouTube, then please do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get updated when we put new videos up because we did put new videos up on a weekly basis. Also, our other social media can be found in the description of this video, Twitter, Instagram, and also Facebook. So do go give us a follow and like respectively on those because you can keep up to date with everything that we post on a daily basis. And finally, thank you very much for watching the video. Really, really appreciate it. And I do hope you like this awesome collection of models. I'll see you guys very soon on the next one. Look after yourselves. Take care. Bye-bye.